F-35 Lightning II is resolutely progressing towards modernization. The F-35 Lightning II aircraft, which is a representative of the fifth generation of fighters, is very expensive. For example, the American modification of this aircraft costs about $100 million. All in all, there are currently more than 750 F-35S in service around the world, deployed at 30 bases and ships. More than 1,585 pilots and 11,545 technicians have been trained to operate these fighters. In 2021, Switzerland and Finland decided to choose the F-35 to arm their air forces. In addition, Denmark received its first F-35 aircraft, and the Royal Netherlands Air Force became the ninth country to declare its F-35 fleet initially operational. This indicates that no one will be replacing these aircraft for at least the next 20 years. However, during this long period, they will have to be modernized as the requirements for their missions will increase. In today's video, we will look at the plans to modernize the most massive aircraft of the fifth generation, the F-35 Lightning II. And if everything goes as planned, we will see a practically new aircraft. The history of the F-35 is characterized by constant hopes for future successes and shortcomings at all stages of development. We have repeatedly heard about hundreds of critical incidents involving this aircraft. It was constantly experiencing problems, gun malfunctions, problems with the pilot's oxygen supply, or software errors. The cost of one hour of flying this plane is an astronomical amount of $33,000, which makes it impossible to compare with the cost of a Tesla car or other expensive object. However, Lockheed Martin has been awarded a contract worth more than $1.8 billion to continue designing, refining, and developing the capabilities of the F-35 fighter in the Block 4 version. Upon completion of this program, the company promised a significant reduction in both the cost of the aircraft itself and the cost per flight hour as well as a significant increase in combat performance. In particular, the hidden firepower will increase by 50%. It may sound like a fantasy, but let's take a closer look at these promises. The main change to be made to the aircraft is a significant increase in computing power. The new onboard computers will be capable of performing 25 times more operations than those used in the current version of the F-35. This key upgrade will enable several other important innovations. Firstly, the aircraft's data transmission channel will be significantly expanded and will be compatible with Link-16 communication channels used by the F-16, F-18, and other aircraft of the United States and its allies. Satellite communications and the ability to broadcast video to the ground using the rover Ang system will also be introduced. This will allow the aircraft to receive data from other friendly air, ground, and sea sources, providing the pilot with more detailed information about the situation. In addition, the F-35's electronic warfare capabilities will be significantly enhanced, allowing it to quickly jam enemy radar and radio signals. The ability to conduct cognitive electronic warfare is becoming increasingly important as adversaries increasingly use software-defined radios and variable frequency radars. The F-35 will be equipped with the new ASQ-239 electronic warfare system from the British company BAE, which provides full-spectrum threat detection. Thanks to a significant increase in computing power, the APG-81 radar installed on the F-35 will be equipped with a broadband synthetic aperture mode. This will allow the radar to scan large areas and track even small moving objects such as vehicles, creating high-quality images that can be transmitted to the ground for reconnaissance, navigation, and targeting purposes. This innovation is linked to the evolution of the F-35's role, which now includes more than just strike and counterterrorism missions. The military plans to use data from F-35 equipment to destroy enemy missiles. A decentralized air command and control system will use the F-35's computing power, sensor, and communications data to conduct large-scale attacks around the world. Powerful computers will also be used to install artificial intelligence on the aircraft to assist the pilot in controlling it. Particular attention is being paid to the development of guided drones that will be able to interact with the F-35, providing support in various aspects from increasing firepower through additional missiles to taking a hit from enemy air-to-air -air missiles. Moreover, the F-35 will receive new fuel tanks. The modified wing-mounted design will increase the aircraft's range by 25%, up to 737 miles. This is an important modification, 
as the insufficient range has been the subject of criticism from the military and has led to ridicule from Russia. However, even after the modernization, the F-35 is still inferior in this parameter to the Russian Su-57, which has a combat radius of 1,242 miles. One of the planned modernizations of the fighter is the new Sidekick missile launch system. Currently, the F-35 can only carry four AIM-120D medium-range air-to-air missiles in the internal compartments, which allows it to remain stealthy. While the fighter can carry more bombs and missiles on the outer wing pylons, this increases its effective scattering area on enemy radar. As part of the F-35 Block 4 upgrade, it is planned to increase the number of missiles that can be carried in the internal bays from 4 to 6. This means 50% more missiles, as mentioned earlier. In addition, the AIM-120D missiles with a range of 100 miles will be replaced by AIM-260 missiles with a range of 125 miles. However, regardless, the U.S. missiles are still inferior to Russia's R-37M air-to-air missiles with a range of 247 miles, which are used on Russia's fifth-generation Su-57 fighter jet. The arsenal of weapons that can be used by F-35 fighters will be expanded. It is planned to introduce SDB-2 and JSAO c guided aerial bombs, as well as AIM-9X Block II short-range air-to-air missiles of up to 20 kilometers. However, the most significant modernization is the ability to use the B-61 nuclear bomb. This makes the F-35 a strategic weapon. In total, Lockheed Martin plans to implement 66 hardware and software upgrades. The modernization of the aircraft should be completed by August 2026, and the work is planned to be carried out in stages. This means that new capabilities will be introduced into the global F-35 fleet faster, without waiting for the full implementation of all updates. To what extent is this scenario realistic? It is worth noting that in parallel with the modernization of the F-35, the Pentagon also plans to modernize another fifth-generation fighter jet, the F-22, and this project will also be implemented by Lockheed Martin. The U.S. military plans to spend $10.9 billion on this modernization, which is six times more than on the F-35 modernization. The total amount of $12.7 billion spread over several years is feasible for the Pentagon. These funds will provide a qualitative improvement for the main strike fighters. Given the rapid increase in global tensions, which has even led to a large-scale armed conflict in Europe, it is likely that all modernization plans will be implemented. Funds for these projects, at least, will not be reduced. Thus, the United States will remain the leader in the sky for the rest of this century. What do you think about the US F-35 modernization plans? Leave your comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give us thumbs up so that more people can see it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, where you will find many interesting videos about modern weapons.